Northern Colorado's first and foremost objective here is they got to get the ball in. If they get it in, Montana has got to foul immediately. It's going to turn into a free throw contest. And a foul was called on Radabaugh trying to get separation from Timmy Falls. And That's I, going to turn the ball over. And I was looking right at it, and that was the appropriate call. Rick Batzel, big, big courage to make that call. It's one thing to make contact. It's the extension of the arm. No and that's no what quest. will do it. Wow. Wow. Just a mental mistake by a guy who's had a terrific season and a terrific game, Jonah Radball. So Montana gets the ball underneath its own basket. And Rory sends it deep to Ogine, and Radabaugh's been called for another foul, and that's going to send the defensive player of the year in the league to the free throw line with 57 seconds to go. Back-to-back -back fouls in just a matter of moments by Jonah Radabaugh. And that's his fifth foul. Oh, they've just lost their best defensive player. And that's what you call, and again, I'm so disappointed at, at, at Jonah Radabaugh, a guy that has played every game since he's been a bear for two straight years. He turns one mistake into two mistakes. Wow. And one, maybe two free throws. And no time off the clock. So eight team fouls now whistled against Northern Colorado. And there goes Radabaugh to the bench. Ten points in the game, three of four from the floor, including two main threes. He also had five rebounds, but his day comes to an end after 35 minutes. And now he sits and hoops and waits. Ogine is 76% free throw shooter. And now you can see when they take the ball, they need to back guys up and then give them room to work. I think too many teams make a mistake, Bill, starting guys at 15 feet. I would, I would back them all the way up to 40 feet and where they have a lot of room to switch directions. Anthony Johnson, the senior, great rebound. One for two, a one possession game. And Northern Colorado, just too lax in bringing the ball up the floor. They couldn't get it across the half court line before 10 seconds. And wow. they turn it over again. I thought that was going to be a timeout when he blew the whistle. Wow. You talk about imploding. Holy mackerel. It was 80 to 76. Montana is just inching closer, but they've got it down to a one possession game. Played that well. That was a, a small, small ball, ball screen where Moorhead was supposed to pick, get a catch, and look inside. Tapped out of bounds, and Montana maintains possession. 30 seconds to play in regulation, 13 seconds on the shot clock. And Montana doesn't need a three, they just need a basket. And if you're the Bears, you just need a stop, a rebound, and then hit a couple of free throws. I'll tell you, I've watched the coaches throughout this game, and they. They have been working hard yes, on the sideline. Yes, they have. For the tie, short. Moorhead, the rebound. He's going to try to tie, and he does. <laughs> 80 to 80, the shot clock is off. Northern Colorado is going to use the timeout. That's the first three of in the last two games for Bobby Moorhead. One for two tonight. He only had one point. Offensive rebounding. All the Bears have to do is to rebound one. Not all they had to do because they have kind of written up a script on how to give one away if, in fact, they do. Obviously, with the Bears' outstanding guards, they're going to spread the court and take it all the way to the basket. And I would wait, Bill. I wouldn't go early, obviously, with 19 seconds left. They want to run it down to about probably five seconds where just like Montana then you'll have a chance for a second shot and look for them to come down just spread the court Andre Spike then they don't need one right at the basket he could kick it out Tanner Morgan great defense there tie game he shot that with 22 seconds left and it was 
like he was shooting with two seconds yeah. left. Yeah. But he was determined, and he did it, and he's tied it. Maybe now, the biggest basket in Bobby Moorhead's career, the 6'7 junior from Tacoma. Now, Northern Colorado has to have the presence of mind. Look, we're tied. We don't need to do anything desperate. Right, right, if right. something goes wrong, you got an extra period. They've got to inbound it way deep to Spite, who almost traveled with it. Now watch him really spread the court here. And again, Spite doesn't necessarily have to score. He needs to get it to the paint and just take what the defense gives him. He better go now, right now. And he's going to launch it from 30. That's off the mark. It's put back up and off and tap back in. But we've got a foul before the shot went in. Tanner Morgan on the offensive glass kept it alive. They're going to wave off that basket, but he's got two free throws coming with a second and a half left to play. Tanner Morgan one for five for the game now from the free throw line. And he is a 69% free throw shooter, but one for five, Bill. And obviously, he just needs one right now. And this is the life of a coach, Bill. You've got a kid up there, 22 years old, and you're worried about paying the house note this month <laughs> if he can make one go in. Tanner Morgan, a red shirt senior from Salem, Oregon. Still tied at 80 with one more to go. They have reset the clock to 1.8. Missed them both. Ahmad Rory's going to launch it, and we're going to go to overtime. Oh, the Grizzly fans are euphoric. And now the job for Jeff Linder is to get his team back into a similar kind of emotion because they're down right wow. now. 